Now we'll continue to see record daily COVID numbers here in Montana, but many schools are seeing a different record number, an all-time low amount of substitute teachers ready to take place of a sick teacher. James Cody Boyer talked to a substitute teacher who was a first person view of the issue. Since the beginning of the pandemic, teachers are scoring a lot of touchdowns in a sense in the classroom, making sure that they're learning remote learning, almost not even having a summer. But the same goes for substitute teachers like Rick Gale. Even he sees with the numbers going up of COVID-19, there's a lot of space to fill. If we can't answer that call, uh, these schools may have to close because of the lack of teachers. Rick Gale was a teacher for more than 20 years, long before COVID-19 was a thing. Now he's one of the pool of substitutes ready to fill an empty spot at the Bozeman School District. There is a high demand for uh, substitute teachers, uh, you know, for a lot of reasons that we're all well aware of. Over the last uh, month, I've had the opportunity to be at Metal Arc Elementary, Whittier Elementary, both high schools. And at the end of the day, what I hear from students is thank you. Thank you for being here for our teacher who's out today. According to school officials like Deputy Superintendent Steve Johnson, the pool still sits at about 60 substitutes available. Available being the key term. We used to say that, you know, we have enough substitutes, they just need to say yes when we call them. Our pool is, is less than half of what it was last year. A pool at less than half is not ideal, according to Johnson. That's why Gail takes his calls, after considering, of course. I have, I've thought about my age, I'm a senior citizen, and I said, I'm gonna do it. You know, I'll just make sure that uh, if I, I follow the guidelines. And if the metric isn't met, and there aren't enough subs to fill temporarily empty spaces, the schools might have to close their doors again. For now, Gail says there is a learning curve to volunteering, but as as long as CDC guidelines are met, masks and all, he says it's the students that keep him coming back. Those thanks from those students walking out the door. It's right there. In Bozeman, Cody Boyer, MTN News.